gonna blow your mind. What'd you buy? A lot, I got a lot, but that's not it. I wanted to tell you something. Guess who I saw coming out of DePrisco's? Who? Jeremy. You did? When? On the way here. The cab was stuck in traffic, and I look over, and he's walking out of the store carrying that little red bag. <sighs> There's only one reason people go into DePrisco's. You're gonna have a better engagement ring than me, you big jerk. Oh my god. Did you know? No. I mean, okay, I did put his name on a mailing list a couple months ago, hoping he'd get the hint, but... Oh, he got the hint! I think he got the hint! <laughs> okay, hold on, we gotta work on your surprise face, because okay. I don't want him to know ask I told me, you. Okay. Ask me, ask me. Ready? <clears throat> Will you marry me? <gasps> what? Are you scared? That was awful. Try it again. Okay. Try it again. Mm, Bigger eyes? And maybe a little... Um, who, me? The good news is you have time to practice between now and then. <laughs> Can I, uh... Marry you? No, thank you. Already married, huh? Getting engaged. Engaged? Dad. My daughter is engaged! <laughs> Garçon! Champagne! Uh, let's have a couple of beers. I'll uh, get uh, them. Banana? <laughs> You're gonna be married. Uh, Jack Brady, import export, real estate. Glad to meet you. <laughs> She's been four years with the guy. W what was he thinking? I proposed to her mother after a week. I proposed to her after half an hour. Exactly. <laughs> Where's the lucky guy? Um, packing. He has a cardiology convention in Dublin. Yeah, it's a good thing that Jeremy finally came around. You might have had to follow him to Ireland this weekend. <laughs> it is leap year, you know. Dad. Do not tell that story again. Why not? It's a family myth. It is the honest to God truth. That's what Grandma Jane did to Grandpa Tom. You know, they'd been dating for a while and he was dragging his feet. So she finally suggested they pay a visit to the old country. February 29th, Dublin, Ireland. She hits him with it. Boom! Ring on finger, signed, sealed, delivered. Well, I'm not going to have to pull a Grandma Jane. <laughs> That's my girl. I'm finally going to get some grandkids. <laughs> Dad, I've got to go. Mm -mm, no, I just got here. Yeah, well, you were late. Oh. We said seven. Oh. I'm just happy that we want the same things. You know, you always have it figured out for us. Mm -hmm. I mean, even with my crazy schedule and... You know I appreciate it, right? So. So this is for you. They're earrings. Yeah. Um, for my ears. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, God. Dr. Sloan. Hey, Bill. Oh, sounds like you're gonna have to go in from the spine. Send me a photo, I'll have a look, okay? Oh, sorry. Why don't you try them on? Oh, <laughs> sorry, sure. Hey, yikes. There's an A order to write home about. Look at that. Honey, not here. Yummy. <clears throat> so, um, I thought. It's not gonna work. I'm so sorry, Anna. Bill says I've really A order go in. Look, he actually wrote that. He wrote A order. So I pick up my bag and just go straight to the airport when I'm done. Forgive me? Of course. Okay. I'm so sorry. I love you. Mm. I love you. Love you. You aorta. Run. <laughs> Yes. 
it's a good thing that Jeremy finally came around. You might have had to follow him to Ireland this weekend and pull a Grandma Jane. It is leap year, you know. Leap year proposals are an old folklore tradition that dates back to the 5th century, sure. In Ireland, there's this tradition that in a leap year, a woman can propose to a man on February 29th. One day, every four years. Will you marry me? Yes. That's ridiculous. Are you traveling on business or pleasure? I'm going to propose to my boyfriend on leap day. Are you now? Congratulations. Thank you. Jeremy, my boyfriend, is already there on business. We've been together four years. Four years. It's a long time. It's not like I'm rushing anything by doing this. You know. He bought me earrings. Don't get me wrong, they're beautiful, but earrings don't exactly say commitment, not that commitment is an issue. I mean, we're buying this apartment together and it's perfect, I know exactly how I'm going to change it. So we're just gonna knock down that wall. You see, if we open up the kitchen a little, I think it flows better into the dining area. It just creates a more free overall this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. It looks like there's a spot of bad weather up ahead, so we may experience just a little bit of turbulence. I'm getting engaged. I'm getting engaged. I'm not gonna die without getting engaged. This is your captain here again, ladies and gentlemen. I may have underestimated the storm just a little bit, but I'm afraid we are being diverted to Cardiff, Wales, as Dublin Airport has been shut down. Once landed, ground staff will be happy to book you on to connecting flights in order to get you to your final destination. Wales? No, we can't land in Wales. At least we're landing. Yes, but I'm on a schedule. Flights until tomorrow. Tomorrow, madam. Tomorrow. I think that's what I said in my bedroom. That is what you said. Well, no, no, no. That's that's not going to work for me. Look, I'm going to Dublin to propose to my boyfriend on the 29th, leap day. It's an old Irish tradition, and I need to buy a dress and and find a ring and book a restaurant. So between us girls, I think you can see why I really need to be there today. Oh, right. Oh. Right. Beryl, will you ring Dublin International Airport and get them to open a runway, especially for Madam, right away? Ferry's cancelled. What is wrong with this country? I usually blame the government. But this one's the weather. Storms here. Well, we'll just see about that. I'll find my own boat. We're going to have to go into Dingle. Clark! Clark! Andy! Dingo, Andrew! 